you guys so i use this foundation which is the one from elf it says flawless satin foundation i've used this before but oh my god you guys it does cover all of my redness it's really beautiful and because i use the potty primer the, the luminous one it gave me a good luminosity to the skin looks really natural so next things up i'm gonna be using my milani concealer i'm gonna put that puppy on and tell you what i think right after Okay, you guys so i think this concealer is really beautiful i'm not sure if i have used it before but today it looks really nice it kind of creases really quick but it feels like it's hydrating i don't know i like it but let's see if we set it if it's gonna stay in place if we set it because it's looking very nice and I like the luminosity that it gives to uh, underneath my eyes. It's really pretty, you guys. So for today, I'm going to be using the Candid Revlon uh, Loose Powder to see if it works underneath my, underneath my eyes. Yesterday, you guys know that I had used this powder right here from Maybelline Fit Me underneath my eyes and that wasn't great. So I'm going to use this powder today and try it. I'm trying all my powders underneath my eyes to find a good one that I could use for underneath my eyes. So let's do that. So the powder actually looks really nice. It has drawn, uh, dried a little bit right here but it always creases underneath my eyes i can't help it but it wasn't as crazy as the one from me from yesterday it does look a little bit more dark underneath my eyes uh as opposed to be with my foundation but i guess it's just because the concealer is a little bit darker i can never get my right shade i don't know if i can match my skin maybe if i put a little bit of concealer right here it will match a little bit more but yeah, let me do something. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my <laughs> Rimmel Mate powder to like see if I can line it a little bit under my eyes. Like right here. I don't think it's gonna be doing much. It's just right here. Yeah, that kind of works. By the way, I love this powder. I think I want to pick a new one because this one is so old now. And I want to enjoy a new one. But yeah. This wasn't bad underneath my eyes. I give it an I'll give it another try like some other time. But as in right now, I'm not hating it. The one from yesterday was worse. <laughs> it was totally worse okay and then now that we are finished with that i'm gonna try and use this uh infallible l'oreal foundation stick to give my cheeks a little bit of bronzy moment oh that's dark and i'm gonna be mixing that with my sponge i think i put too much in my nose Okay, you guys, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this. Um, this is a foundation, so I don't know why it would like take away from my initial foundation a little bit. The color is nice. It's not um, what I really like. Makes my marks, like my acne marks, a little bit more pronounced. I'm going to go ahead and use my Milani bronzer today. And this is in the color Silky Mage Sunlight. 
in the color sunlight and I'm gonna be using that with my trusty brush which is the elf one you guys know I love this I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of this in my cheeks to try to fix my bronzer try to blend it in. blend it in a little bit better I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, this color trio blush palette from what is this Milani I think I put too much I'm gonna use this wet and wild uh, highlight in the color Megalo so I'm gonna grab the Morphe brush and I'm gonna coat my brush tap it off a little bit and this is a mess you guys but I like how it performs <sighs> this is intense and then buff it in okay you guys I really like how that highlight turned out it's very beautiful let me just put a tip into my nose So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just buff my skin with the same powder from Revlon Candid to kind of tone down that highlight and buff a little bit. So I'm going to put, put some product in there, tap once more, go in circular motions. And there you go, that just made it so much better. Okay, doing the same thing. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this Lorac primer for my eyelids. Let's see what I can come up with this beautiful palette. This is the Spectrum palette from Profusion. I was trying to use it in my last video, but I ended up using only one of the palettes. I have two of them. I have the Neon palette, and this is the Spectrum one. And today I want to be playing with this blues, and then the purple, and then the pink. Let me just see what I can come up with. I also have... Wait a minute. I also have this Profusion uh, Neon Bright Lights in the color which one is this in the color bold and I'm gonna be using this one as well last time we used the orange one and it was amazing I know it couldn't show through cameras but I still want to get that look done because if you really want to see the color please go ahead and pick this up because it's really good it has a really nice review on so I'm gonna start with this color right here in my crease oh that's a beautiful color you guys so pretty
this shade right here and place it on top of that cut crease see what we can come up with i am having a ton of fallout Ooh, a ton This blue is a little more difficult to work with than it was yesterday's look. Yesterday was so easy. But this blue is a little bit more crumbly than the yesterday's shade, which was the pink. This is hard. And I can't get it to show properly. Okay, so now that we have that down, I'm going to create the line with the liner. Let me brush away some fallout. There's a lot of fallout. I'm going to show you guys right now. Ooh, I have so much blue. Okay, so here's what I have in my palette. I don't know if you can see it. And then this color right here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I do have some fallout. A lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to create the line right now. Or you know what? I'm lying. Let me just fill this part right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this purple as well. And do remember that I did wet my brush to try to make it more intense because the juice wasn't cutting it for me. And be very careful because you're going to have a bunch of fallout like I did. A bunch. Okay, so now I'm going to clean again because it's just all about the cleaning process. 
and I'm just using my soft focus powder the one in the middle my palette it's in the shade medium I'm gonna be using that just to clean up my mess because I met a lot I met a, I made a lot of mess so you might want to be careful or doing your eyes first and then the complexion because <laughs> it could be a struggle with this palette okay so I'm gonna run a line like I did yesterday and maybe two lines I don't know but I'm just gonna follow <laughs> this is so hard I'm just gonna follow the cut crease this is why you want to make a good cut crease So beautiful okay you guys what I'm noticing right now is that the concealer is not good to place the color on the top it's cracking up in there you guys so I have finished I put on my eyelashes I don't know if you can see them right there mistakes happens when you are trying to hide your lashes and try to make them look natural so I was trying to do that so I had to do a line a black line and then I brought it down here I also use this essence um, extreme lasting pencil in my waterline you guys can see it's a cream pencil but it looks like white edge and it's so creamy and so good this pencil is the best that I have in my collection I do have others from NYX and I don't know what but they are horrible this pencil is life you guys I really recommend this pencil it's really good from essence and it's what about three dollars each it's really good I'm gonna be purchasing more items from that and yeah let's continue with our lips see what I can I'm gonna do a uh, just a nude lip so it goes with the bag I don't want to take anything from the eyes so I'm gonna be using this um, free or lipstick in the color 12 beauty just gonna apply that I like that color. It's a peachy nude. So right now I'm just gonna be applying this Revolution Sheer Brilliant uh, liquid lipstick, and it's the same color 
as lipstick that I applied previously okay so here's the finished product you guys hope you love it I am loving it it's so pretty I love these neon eyeliners you guys they are truly amazing they are the best they have really good reviews on their website and I'm just living for it I actually have another one and this is in pink and I'm planning to do another video using this one so please stay tuned for that and yeah I'm gonna talk a little bit about the products that I have used today so the palette you guys is amazing do not use this concealer the Milani because it's really really creamy really hydrating so if you put this and you're gonna put like a eyeshadow on top it's obviously gonna crack and it's not gonna be pretty so do not use that for like a cut crease and the palette itself you guys is so beautiful look at those colors they're amazing I love that baby blue it's really pretty I like this purple right here it's very pretty I didn't end up using this blue I just didn't think uh, I was gonna I don't know I just thought the blue the baby blue and the purple and the pink went really nice together so that's what I used and so these two products are a win-win you're gonna love them I did not like this I'm gonna get rid of this uh, foundation stick to like um, contour and bronze with I don't like it somebody else can make some good use out of that okay so I have another thing to use and it's this elf makeup mist let me just spray that oh no the sprayer is like really aggressive okay so it did leave little particles of water in my face that was way too aggressive but then again what what I can tell you guys when you have a spray that's aggressive like that just take your sponge and press those down it will be very beautiful it's not gonna leave anything it's just gonna blend into your skin good as new okay I like my Milani powder and I like my my, my Milani uh, blush it's really natural it's really pretty so you'll be the judge of that these are affordable I think all of the things that I uh, use today are very very affordable you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it so probably in the future I'm going to be creating another look with this. Stay tuned for that you guys because it's going to be coming soon. And without any more rambling, I'm going to leave you guys. Hopefully you like this look. Hopefully you like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it will help me so much. Bye bye.